Does little Yachty have multiple personalities? This theory says yes. So first of all, let's talk about who Little Yachty is in general, right? Little Yachty is this exciting um, uh, individual who started on SoundCloud, and I believe it was, it was around 2015, 16, where he started growing in popularity. But I had noticed, of course, with his uh, album or his LP, I believe it was, Lil Boat, that there was some type of difference between who we thought Little Yachty is and his Little Boat persona. And then also now, if you go to his Twitter, you notice that he also has something called, uh, uh, his name on Twitter is C.V. Thomas. I, I did all the research I could to figure out who C.V. Thomas was. All that came up was doctors, lawyers, and, and psychiatrists. I don't know, I don't know, I don't get where these names are coming from, but that's why this theory interested me, because who is Little Yachty? Is Little Yachty Little Boat? Is Little Boat Little Yachty? Are they all just C.V. Thomas? Now, what we'll do first to explore this theory is I want all of you to watch Lil Yachty's album promo video with me. I think that's really important because this video really opened my mind to what this theory was all about. So let's take a look at it real quick. We're talking about multiple personalities. The name of this video is Department of Mental Tranquility. So already there's some type of uh, issue that he's having mentally, right? He wants to explore that in this album. So let's let's take a look at it and let's see what he has to say. I'm surprised that not many people actually watch this. It's, it's very few. At the end of this hallway is the edge of oblivion. Whilst the man you're watching may not know it yet, this moment will mark the first step on the journey of the rest of his life. Good afternoon, sir. How are you today? What Do you heck? know what kind of treatment you'd like to receive with us today? A man arrives at the precipice. What is, he looks crazy. He simply asked a question. Uh, yeah, is this uh, where you sign up at? Fantastic. Let's help you float, Mr. Boat. A few questions. <sighs> Ever wish you were somebody else? I mean, daily. How often did you call your mom? Now, now listen to these questions. These questions are so important. We're going to go over this in a minute. But again, this theory hinges on this video. So just listen to all the questions. Her first question was, have you ever felt like you wanted to be somebody else? And so keep listening. Were somebody else? I mean, daily. How often did you call your mother? I don't understand the relevancy to that. Did you like driving at sunset? Does the AC work Would the people you love describe you as happy? Are you sexually active? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who's the president? Byron. Do you uh -huh. use drugs? Did, did they Byron. have to answer these questions too? It is hot in here. Man. Have you ever been in a merry go Can you please turn on some AC? Are you a jealous person? Huh? Are you a jealous person? I do not love Mr. Boat. Fuck. You spilled the salt. What do you worry about? You get sad and rain Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, fuck it. I'll do it. Great. You'll be in room 10 today. Room 10. I think that room is important too. We're going to get into that in a minute. All right, let me cut it there because they're, they're gonna knock me. They're gonna knock me down with uh, with the uh, uh, copyright track. Okay, so super important points to point out here. Okay, so first of all, the first thing she said to him was, "Hello, Mr. Boat." So remember all the personalities I told you that uh, little Lil Yachty might have. So so far we have Lil Yachty, Lil Boat, C.V. Thomas, and Mr. Boat. Okay, just from the note ones that we know of. All right. So let's go to the beginning of the video and let's break down this album promo really quick. We're going to break down every scene from it because I feel like it's super important, okay? All right, so let's first start in the first few frames. As you can see, he's going down a very long hallway. He gets to the end of the hallway and turns left into what is called the Department of Mental Tranquility. Now, Mental Tranquility as the name of the actual video itself, what does this mean? He's in trouble mentally. There's a lot going on in his head and he needs to find a way out. Now, that either means that he's been dealing with this for a long time or this is some type of like new situation that's happening and he's just trying to trying to maintain his level-headedness and figure out what's going on. Who knows, but the point is that's where he ended up in this video. All right, moving on into the room. So this is the Dep Department of Mental Tranquility. It's packed in here, right? It's packed full of crazy individuals. They all look very different. The whole point of that, I believe, is that it's pointing out everyone has issues. Everyone deals with some type of mental problems. 
as you can see, there's a older, there's a younger guy here, a white guy here, an older black man, a younger little girl. Like everybody has issues. So this department isn't just for the rich and famous. This is for anybody who needs mental tranquility. Okay. Now, as he goes up to the counter, he rings the bell, and this woman pops out of nowhere. Who is this woman? We don't know. But her name right here on the tag is Sunshine. Sunshine is interesting. Why? Because anytime you've ever heard of uh, the concept of sunshine, it's always from a place of darkness. So you're looking to somebody, you're looking to something for guidance and for help. You're looking for the sunlight. If you're in a dark cave and you want a way out, you look for the light, right? So sunshine might be a uh, metaphorical individual who might be trying to help him out of this place. And uh, for her to be the head of the, the Department of Mental Tranquility, or receptionist at minimum, it kind of makes sense. So she begins to ask questions again. First of all, addressing him as Mr. Boat. So that's another personality that we can add to the list of his, okay? So she says, Mr. Boat, first question is, do you ever feel like you're somebody else? And he said, every day. That's what he said, every day. So that right there is an automatic point to this theory is there's something going on here, okay? Then he asked, then she asked all these other questions, like how often do you call your mom? Are you sexually active? Da da da. Now, this guy right here is super interesting. I believe this is another personality of Lil Yachty's, unidentified at this point. I believe this might be C.V. Thomas. The only way I can describe why I think this is the C.V. Thomas that we see on his Twitter is because the name C.V. Thomas that I looked up, they were all associated with professionals, okay? I think the C.V. Thomas in Little Yachty's mind very well may be the person who's trying to get him the help that he needs. I think C.V. Thomas is the man that's guiding Little Yachty out of the place of darkness and into his truth. OK, so let's listen to what this guy has to say. I think this part was super interesting. OK, with us today. A man arrives at the precipice. And he simply asked a question. Uh, yeah, just saw uh, where you. A man arrives at the precipice and he simply asks a question. So uh, real quick, let's explore what the word precipice even means. OK, that I, I think we should we should do that real quick. Uh, uh, basically, very close to a bad or dangerous situation. That's what precipice means. I believe that this little Yachty right here or I believe again, C.V. Thomas, this gentleman is telling us that little Yachty is on the edge of something very bad and something very dangerous. Uh yeah, is this uh, where you sign up at? Fantastic. Let's help you float, Mr. Boat. Let's help you float, Mr. Boat. Now, that could be a lot of things, but I, I think, that, again, that's just the mental tranquility. He's trying to get out of the out of his mindset. He's trying to get to a different place. And so she's like, let's, let's get you there. Let's figure out what you need so you can make it, okay? Now, questions, questions, questions. She asked a bunch more questions, but I thought it was interesting because uh, there were some posters behind her. One of them said enlightenment. And another one, I believe, said, um, I think it said tranquility. I think it's this one right here. No. So, yeah, one of them said enlightenment and the other one said awakening. Ha huh, ha. Huh. I think that's super, super important to this theory because that's what he's looking for. Read the bottom. It says awakeness is a place. Awakening is a moment. Come with us out of the cave. Remember, I gave you the cave. Uh, um analogy earlier into the light of day into grace and pay attention to the sunshine behind their heads again this woman whoever this woman is her name is sunshine oh, he's telling us right here that he's looking for a way out and this is how he's doing okay all right so then uh, fast forward he goes down this long white hallway makes it to an open door with light on the inside of it so He's telling us that he's finding his light. He's finding his tranquility. And when the door closes, you see the number 10, room number 10. Now, what does this mean? In my opinion, I believe that the number 10 is the number of personalities that Lil Yachty has. Okay. Now, whether or not this was on purpose, I don't know. But 10, again, we counted how many personalities earlier? All right. Let, let's do it again just so we're on the same page. All right. So, so far, we have Lil Yachty. We have Lil Boat, we have Mr. Boat, we have C.V. Thomas, and oh, not to forget, Lil Yachty actually has many, many names that he goes by, not just the ones I mentioned. So let's look at these. 
So he has a phase boat because he's a gamer. I don't know if you guys knew that, but he was actually signed to Phase Clan not too long ago um, as a Fortnite player. So he has Phase Boat. He has Darnell Boat. And again, there's the CV Thomas. So from the four personalities that we had earlier, we can now add Darnell Boat and Phase Boat. So those are six personalities that we have so far. I believe there are four more that we are unaware of that very, uh, very well may be on the album. So listening to the album is going to be really important to those of you out there because I think, again, this is the key connection to this theory. And Lil Yachty is trying to tell us something. So going now to the track list and the sounds coming from his album. Again, the album is called Let's Start Here. He's trying to introduce us to somebody new, something different. And he really did from the intro to the outro. This is a, uh, a I don't know how I would express this. This type of album, I want to say it's like a, a rock, uh, like rap, soul, um, 70s, psychedelic. It's, it's a lot of things going on here, right? Um, but what he's trying to tell us here is let's start here. This is where we're going to start from now on. This is the new Lil Yachty, and I'm going to introduce you to some, some of my other friends, okay? So just look at the track list names, okay? You have Reached the Sunshine. You have uh, It's Officially Lost Vision. Uh, I've Officially Lost Vision. Drive Me Crazy. These are very poignant phrases. These are, these are ways of him telling us that something is going on, something is off, but I'm trying to figure it out. I think one of my most interest, uh, the one that I'm interested in the most uh, is the album track uh, Failure. Now, if you pay attention right here to the way Failure is written out, if you look at the way the song title is typed out, you see the text emote for Sad Face and the text emote for the Happy Face. Now, I listened to this track and I thought it was super uh, relevant to this theory because in this track, he talks about the duality of of his existence where he's both happy that things have happened the way they have but he's also sad because it has led to his uh mental anguish right uh he feels as if his soul is lost or even broken in a way and again i believe that uh this is what the entire album is about just showing us and giving us a different sound because this is a different person I, I don't even think this is Lil Yachty that we're listening to. This is someone completely different. I think one of his 10 personalities. Again, this is just a theory. I'm saying multiple personalities in effect of his music, uh, maybe just in his art. Pay attention to someone like Childish Gambino, right? So Childish Gambino is a great example because Childish Gambino has changed genres uh, very, very seam like seamlessly, right? He went from rap to Neo Soul in one album. That's all it took. And Lil Yachty, of course, is pretty much doing the same thing. I mean, Childish Gambino talks often about his, his musical awakening, right? I mean, literally, the album that he did that gave us what we now know as the new Childish Gambino outside of rap and hip hop is called Awaken My Love. The word awakening is very important. I don't know if you guys are realizing that. The word awakening is very important. Anytime you see the word awakening, you know something is happening. There's a shift. There's a paradigm shift. There's there's something going on. And this theory relies on the word awakening because not only did Donald Glover slash Childish Gambino experience this, but so did other musicians. Lil Yachty is now next. I, I truly think the person that made the album Let's Start Here is not Lil Yachty. I think it's somebody completely different. And soon enough, we're going to know who that is.